Hi, I'm David, and, and this video was supposed to be my first day of uh, trying to TIG weld stainless steel. So this is for uh, entertainment purposes only, because I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to learn. Okay, so what happened was, whenever I went to the welding store, they gave me the wrong bottle. They gave me a 75-25 mixture for MIG welding, and I did this totally by accident. I would never, try, I would never do this on purpose, because I already know better, but... I figured I'd go ahead and make a video and, and show that part of it too. What I was trying to do was weld these two pieces together, which I eventually did. Um, it's just two pieces of stainless steel. I'm not sure what series it is, but I used um, 309 L wire. And for the most part, I was running about 60 amps. Before I get started, I want to point out something. Uh, whenever you weld stainless steel or even grind it or, or whatever, it's supposed to put off like, kind of like a health hazard thing called hexavalent chromium which I'm not sure what that is but but it's one of those things with uh, too much exposure over a long period of time it's supposed to be like a carcinogen and it could even cause other problems so make sure you have proper ventilation and stuff like that and of course always wear gloves when you're grinding and make sure you know you use a proper hood helmet whenever you're welding and I actually didn't realize that I was using the wrong gas until I already uh, did the first bead, and you'll see that in the video. In this video I'm using my Everlast 160 STH. I'm also using a 1 16th inch 2% lanthanated tungsten, a small air cooled torch with a uh, number 6 cup. Okay so here's the two pieces I'm welding together. Uh, one of them is uh, 90 thousandths thick and the other one is 60 thousandths thick. I'm going to go ahead and fill this uh, hole with the plug weld real quick before I do a lap joint. I have everything cleaned off with a uh, flat disc and cleaned with acetone. As soon as I started welding the spark seemed really hot and I kind of lost control of the puddle and oh, it wow, just kind of went weird. haywire but I, I just continued on just so I could uh, you know make this weld. Wow, it just like blew a bigger hole in it. Okay, so after a bad start, I went ahead and ground it flat again. And I'm going to set it against this uh, table so that way it could trap argon a little bit better. I was thinking that was why it burned out because it didn't have a, a shielding gas on the back side. Putting it against the table did seem to help, but there was still a problem. Like you can notice here in a second that it does more sizzling, kind of like a MIG welder. And I'm getting a lot of oxidation, like some white powdery stuff and stuff like that. Okay, so even though I knew I had a problem, I just kept going on. I mean, what else could I do? I knew there was a problem, but I was just thinking maybe that's how stainless wells, I need to figure it out. And uh, the, the puddle is really hard to control, so I just kind of started randomly trying to fill it. And I did get it filled, but it wasn't a very good job at all, really. That is probably the worst example of a plug weld that you could ever do. Maybe we have to retitle that part of the video to how not to do a plug weld. I have it smoothed out. I'm not sure if it didn't fuse there or if that's actually a crack. That's kind of weird. And that too. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put these together about like that. The gap really isn't that good, you know. has kind of a gap, but... uh I'm just going to do it. This is just for practice. And this stuff does act a little bit different than mild steel does. Or at least I thought it did. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do some fusion tack. And, uh, yeah. They didn't work out that good. Here goes my first really ugly tack. Second ugly really tack. 
I'm just gonna go for it. I don't care how it looks. At this point, I kind of started figuring out something wasn't right. I know my travel speed was a little bit slow, but it wasn't that bad. And the well was way too gray, way too ugly. I tried. I started to check my gas flow, thinking maybe my, my uh, argon wasn't flowing. And then I started to figure it out. Or I should say I did figure it out. I figured out what the problem is. Once I seen that really dark gray color on there, Reminded me of a MIG well. And uh, I only buy Argon, I only get Argon 100% and they gave me a 75-25 mix. Okay, when I did that well, I wasn't moving that slow, so I knew that there was something not right about that. I mean, I know I haven't done stainless before, but my travel speed was probably just a little bit slower than it should be because I couldn't figure out how to get it going right. And, wow. Alright, the gap is a lot worse now since I had to bend those pieces. Well, I bent them when I tore them apart. I ground it clean, polished it again. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to tack it now and see if this does a better job with the right gas. Alright, looks normal looks like steel has a little black stuff around the edge a little bit don't really like that but I don't know I'm just gonna do it okay so the piece on top is a thicker piece it's 90 thousandths and the lower piece is 60 thousandths and there is somewhat of a gap so it's a little bit hard to do this like really uh, efficiently so what I do is I kind of like hang out on the top get it kind of hot ready to melt jump down the bottom and kind of oscillate to it what's through. It's probably not the best method, but I mean, uh, I'm able to do the weld. My, my travel speed is slow. It doesn't really work that good. It's kind of erratic, and I, I burn off the top edge a little bit too much. But whatever. It's, it's my first time welding stainless. And uh, I mean, I have done lap joints before, so it shouldn't be a real excuse, but whatever. Let's just check this weld out real quick. I know I shouldn't have popped off at the end like that. Um, I, I just, whatever, I was getting real shaky and uh, I don't know how to explain it, but there, there goes the first weld on stainless. It's probably a little too gray that has the blue line about right there, which I guess that's normal. So this is what the weld came out looking like. That's too shiny, but that's the weld. Well, profile's not really too bad, I don't guess. Yeah, I don't know. I even dipped my tungsten. I did everything like you're not supposed to, but I think I'm just still kind of, um, what do you call it? Like I'm not really doing a good job because of the distractions, the, the whole argon deal and all that. It's getting the wrong gas. Okay, so I had the first one down. I'm going to go ahead and do the second side of it. The edge was beveled down. I didn't do that on purpose. Just I had to grind that, that uh, old, ugly weld off that I did before. And uh, there's kind of a gap. I tried to smash it down with the hammer. And actually, I don't know what happened, but I slipped a whole lot. And, and the weld actually comes out worse than the first one. But whatever, I'm just trying to practice. One thing I did I, I did notice on this is I'm using 309 L wire and... It's a 16th, and I don't know what kind of stainless this is, but it's it's a very slightly magnetic. I mean, the, the magnet barely pulls it. And I notice that the puddle is very watery, and it's it's really, it, I mean, it does pretty much well just like mild steel, to be honest. But it's just a little bit different, and apparently I'm having some problem with oxidation and stuff like that because it's not super shiny and... You know, you can see some white dust and stuff all over it, but, you know, everything's a learning experience, and I'm just trying to learn how to weld everything, really. 
there goes the second wheel and I'm all over the place. And that gap really messed me up because, yeah, you just can't really weld good with the gap. You know, it needs to fit almost airtight. Um, I slipped right there and I, you know, whatever, I slipped right there. I slipped all over the place. But there you go, my first time welding stainless. First, the actual first time, first bead was better. Hmm. Okay, there's a second weld. It's really ugly. I was slipping and stuff like that, so, but whatever. Uh, I, I just wanted to practice real quick. That's the first one. I don't think it's too bad. It's uneven. It has some, you know, it's a little bit crooked and uneven. The piece I welded has a strange pink tint to it. I think it looks kind of cool. Okay, compare those welds to this one and tell me whether or not you could use Argon Mix. Okay, so I didn't do the best job, but you know, at least I welded stainless for the first time to kind of familiar, familiar, uh, to kind of familiarize myself with working with this new material that I haven't worked with before. And that's going to conclude my video. Uh, if you found this educational or helpful or entertaining, please like and subscribe.